Welcome to the wild and woolly north. That's uh, from Liverpool, this blooming lot. Blast him. Hey. Uh, that's egg uh, decorations to my windows. Oh, hmm. Now. It beats being in Ukraine, I think. Or Sri Lanka. They actually burnt down <laughs> the First Minister's house. They piled up rubbish outside and burnt it down. Well, Sri Lanka, young girls as young as 15 years old became Tamil tigers. <sighs> So I don't know the background to their uh, internecine fight. Fully. But a young girl would be indoctrinated and uh, dish dash, whatever, go somewhere with a bomb hidden underneath and blow herself up and all those around. Well, that hasn't dis disappeared, has it? Muli Liferan <laughs> was a very good bowler, because <laughs> I like the cricket. <laughs> okay. Ask any Sri Lankan of any sort of age. Do they know Muli Liferan? I used to live in St. John's Wood, in Landing Town, and Jonas, okay, we're still around, Brian Johnston, the cricket commentator, we're talking Lord's Cricket Ground, you see, because I could hear them, you know, um, all that, those Radio 4 commentaries. Radio 4 spoken, not television. The, the radio, well, the radio commentaries on a test app. Did you get slow patches? <laughs> said Jolly's Jockey Cakes. <laughs> he was an old Etonian too, Brian Johnston. <laughs> but also, apparently, I believe, I'm quite sure of this, um, also fought in the First World War. So we'd have seen the horrors of that. Had a huge, great, big, beaky nose. <laughs> I don't think he was Jewish. <laughs> Brian Johnston, brilliant commentator. Dilly was holding Willie's lily <laughs> or something. <laughs> and he cracked up. It's the best cricket commentary. Right. Dilly was an English bowler. Willie was an Australian Dilly Willy and anyway we get the general idea. <laughs> oh dear. Now no school boy here me yeah. I used to mix among these types. There's a game called Brackets I think it's called the Miller's Tie, the sort of yellow and orange that were the Royal the Mar Maribyrn or whatever it is, I don't know, something like that. Club. Okay, Rackets. Five is another Funny old game. I was the best squash player in the whole world under 16. Uh, it's a black ball. Hmm. I beat all comers 9 3, 9 7, 9 1 in the final. 
<laughs> Seemingly, the locals want to take me on. He's not even local, he's from Liverpool. He's got four children with this woman and two with another woman. And the people hanging out of the windows elsewhere. Okay. Hmm. You can't win against me. I am a Christian. I believe God has led me here to Annick in Northumbria, northeast corner of England. So I'll stick it up. I'll face them down. Face them off. Get on to the council tomorrow. It's massive harassment. You can't go throwing eggs at a chap's window. And get away with it. The police are doing nothing. They're useless. Uh, the chief constable is a man called Winton Keenan. He's got 6,000 staff under him. Well, quite frankly, as far as I'm concerned, they're a complete waste of space. They're actually worse than a waste of space. The legal lot? Hmm convicting me of this and that and whatever, the magistrates. I had much better tailored suits than the, he did. <laughs> <coughs> the chief magistrate who convicted me. <laughs> so, if I end up in jail for the rest of the next five years, well, good luck to them. I'll still be me, wherever I am. Amen. Cold drizzle in Northumbria. I'm really not just going to Roll over and play dead. I'm the victim. They're rubbish. <laughs>